Hey everybody, this is Karen from Waterfall Clicks here with our latest, newest family member. This is Finnegan, uh, AKA Finn for short. He is a 10 week old golden retriever who's teething and but very sweet and very affectionate. And just wants to love on me right now, but he's gonna help me paint today, right Finn? <laughs> Let me get you down on the canvas and get him down. All right guys, try and fail. It's one of those days where I don't think I should be painting. Um, I'm gonna try this one last time. I'll explain these colors in this mess. Uh, obviously a deconstructed bloom that's gone horribly awry, except for this one giant petal. Um, <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, you know, puppy accidents. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. So I had put down, this is um, recycled PPG Multi Pro. They had a bunch of colors mixed in to it that were all mixed and it turned into this like green gray color. So we're just gonna put some of that down and then we'll put some clean white on top of it. This is a 12 by 24 canvas. I hope I'm not too distracted during the making of this. We'll put a little bit of clean white, a little strip, a little landing strip through there. Then we're gonna go again and I'll just talk about my colors as we go. So this first one, it's a good neutral base color. I think it's underappreciated. This is Golden's Titan Buff. My next color is, I haven't used it in a long time. I don't know why, I love it. This is Golden's Naples Yellow Hue. I have two cups of it, go and grab the other cup. So there's the yellow. And then I'm playing around with the new piggy color. This is Zeus. It's a really pretty orangey copper color. And it's gorgeous. And then I have my favorite shade of Payne's Gray. You know it. By Da Vinci. Fluid Acrylics. There's Payne's Gray. I'm going to come back with a little more of the Zeus. And just a dollop more of the Naples Yellow, and my cell activator color is Prussian Blue mixed with a little bit of Lamp Black. So it's really like blue-black. So I'm gonna go with that and give this a blowout. And good grief, it's been a night. Wish me luck. All right, didn't do the best job in the middle of that, but I'm loving the outer edges and I'm loving the colors. Let's try this again. So the Titan Buck. <clears throat> Naples Yellow. 
maple yellow. Paint gray. Zeus. All of the yellow <clears throat> and the blue black CA. All right, take two. All right, I'm not going to wait too much for that to collect because I want to wreck into it. I want to wreck into both centers. I'm going to go side to side first. And maybe when I get to that side, I take care of my corners. But instead of tilting toward a corner, I'm going to tilt toward the sides because I kind of want to make this whole part the focal point in the middle. That's what I've been staring at. Anyway. While I'm over that way, now I'm going to go up and off. Go ahead off and back. And off this other corner. And try to get the wood of the paint back in the middle so it can come straight down. Oh, not quite there. Come straight down the middle. Stretch all that out. Get it closer to the edge at the bottom so that I can then go side to side this way. Hopefully. This is a 12 by 24 wood canvas. It's heavy. That way. Take it back up. And then over. I'm going to be crooked for a second. Part I like the most is still in the canvas, so that's a good part, good thing. Oh my goodness, look at all that Zeus coppers in there. I don't know how I feel about that. Let me just stare at it. Oh 
think it's quite there yet. I'm going to take off some of this wonkiness and maybe some of some of the Zeus, even though it means losing some really cool cells and lacing here. Let's just start the process and then if I don't like it, I'll stop toning. There's a little bit of white on this corner. Yeah. Bear with me, I know you can't see. Oh, a little more. What's going on with my two cups? Oh, they're there. Kind of worried that the middle is too blank. Let me stir some more. I don't know, the top's pretty great. Or do I leave it and leave all that negative space? What do you guys think? Do I leave it? Or do I add uh, a swipe and wipe off my fingertips? Add a swipe of something right through here and just leave this. Or do I just say ta-da? I'm gonna walk away for a minute. I decided it needed something, something. This time I'm going to do um, 
black and then white CA for this section. And I'm not gonna worry about the dollop. So there's the blue black. There's the white. All right, let's just rock this back and forth and see, see if I made it worse or better. I'm pouring off the middle. I'm trying to. A little more. Getting close. Sorry, you can't see. Let me take a look. I think it's better. I do. It needed, it needed some sort of tie in between the two. Look at it from both orientations. I think I'm going to tilt it towards you guys just a little bit more. I see it as I wish this part had a little more um, Zeus in it I see this is the top now and that is the bottom and before that was the top I 
I could always glaze some Zeus, like right in here, I think. I would do it in here and in here once this is dry. I think I'm going to say ta-da, though. Yeah. Ta-da. Let me uh, clean up and get you guys down. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm back with the semi wet results of this one it's the next morning i apologize i was really distracted while making this except like toward the end when i did the middle just the you know new puppy and life happening at home and then when i was playing it back i thought this painting looks really ugly on camera like people are going to start watching it halfway through and turn it off i hope you've stuck with me um, until the end there because I have a feeling when this one is dried and um, resined and framed it's going to be pretty great. I'm going to get you down um, on parts you didn't see. I see this is the bottom. I have like a whole stormy cloud thing going up. Um, water coming down hitting some rocks and then water rushing over these rocks here so that is the zeus blinging out against the panes gray uh i really like this rocky area i do i do i do i love how deconstructed it is like no one would ever think that this was a bloom so i'm really happy about that and then this is the part here that worked out really well um when i took a risk and did the swipe in the middle um, it just looks like ice. It's cool and it blended on both sides really, really well with both the top and the bottom. And then the top here, um, again with the Zeus and the, the uh, Naples yellow, uh, very dramatic. I'm going to turn it this way so you can kind of see it. And then, um, yeah, as soon as it's done drying, I'm going to pop this in a floater frame. I happen to have a gold floater frame um, just to see what this looks like. So uh, I'll give it a couple more hours to dry and then uh, we'll take a look at the dried results. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back with the uh, the dried and resin and framed results of this guy because it's taking me so long to get a video up. I apologize. Um, that's what it looks by, like when you stand back from it. So you can see my favorite thing is uh, how the paint's gray dried really dark in here. So it gave, gives this illusion, um, of the rocks ending and the water rushing and like the bare rocks at the bottom with the Zeus there and, um, the yellow blinging out, I think the middle section that was risky, but it paid off, I feel. That looks really good in the middle there. Um, the yellow got lighter, kind of faded off when it hit the white. And then the top part here, like some sort of stormy sky or something. Really, really cool. The um, Zeus mixed with the um, Naples yellow looks really pretty there. And I love like the rocky look too. I love how deconstructed it looks, like you would never know this was a couple of blooms that's the whole idea yeah um let me know what you think of this one i really like it in this frame very very much and uh yeah let me flip and say goodbye that's it for me today guys i'm uh pretty dang happy with that guy um so now you know the reason why it's taken me a week to get a video up with miss mr finnegan in the house uh lots of early early mornings you know, puppy, 10 weeks old, needs lots of potty breaks. So, um, running a little ragged. I hope to get one up in, um, a little bit quicker this time. Until then, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, be kind to each other. Take care. Peace out.